Today, one of the things we want to focus on is pulse crops and how to protect them from root rot. Our topic today actually comes from a pulse crop grower who just said he was having a tremendous problem with root rot in his crops. And the only way it seemed like this problem went away is if he literally did not plant the pulse crops. Eventually, the field would get better if he waited three years, four years, five years before putting pulse crops back out there. Well, let's say you don't want to wait three, four, five years. What can you do? That's what we're going to go through today. And I just want to preface all this by saying the most important thing for any crop against any disease is simply make the crop as healthy as you can. And like for this grower, he was in North Dakota. Well, the number one issue for most farmers in North Dakota is poor drainage. By simply putting drain tile out there, which he was in the process of doing, by the way, that is going to make his crop far more healthy. All right, Brian, you mentioned the drainage, but let's talk about a few of the uh, other factors that are involved in this. Number one, we've got a lot of heavy soils. When we see pulse crops, especially in the northern part of the U.S., a lot of them are going into fields with really heavy soils, high CECs, above 20, some of them even 30 and 40. Well, once you have that heavy a soil, it's just tough to get water to move through. The other thing being in the north is many of those soils are also very cool and cold and wet is a problem. And then a third problem that comes about from that is compaction. You're going to have compacted soils if you're forcing it out in the field, either in the fall or in the spring, uh, trying to get crops in or out in those fields. When you've got those conditions, you just don't have good root growth, and now you've got shallow root growth uh, in an area where there's a lot of disease prevalent, because you mentioned, hey, we need longer rotations. If you get a shortened rotation, you got more disease pathogen out in the field. There's just a number of things here that are going to compound on top of each other and then add to that nutrient deficiencies. Wait, You're, whoa, 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 stop. So you have covered a lot of problems. We got to talk about how to solve these problems. Right. So when we start talking about, again, drainage, tile. I got cold soils, tile. And the reason why tile is so important is because if you get the water out, air warms faster than water. Also, look at your calcium percentage. If you have a tight, poorly drained soil, get more calcium out there. If you do that, calcium is a big molecule compared to magnesium, and when you have a high calcium percentage, you'll have more air going down through the soil. So it'll warm up, things will lighten up, you'll be in a lot better shape. And the other thing I would throw in there is organic matter. Work on building your soil's organic matter level, and then you will also have less compaction, you'll have a more loose and more tilthy soil, so you'll have fewer problems with root rot. I think this is important, and I, I like that you got into the calcium because taking a complete soil analysis is gonna be critical here. To maximize what you're doing, you've gotta have a good balance of nutrition. We're seeing too many of these soil tests coming back with extremely low levels of multiple micronutrients. We've got to get those levels built up if we want to be successful and keep that crop healthy. All right, one of the other big things that's happened here for pulse crop growers in just the last few years is Intego Solo, a new product that can help prevent root rot issues. So Intego Solo, that has the active ingredient ethoboxum. This is used in corn, it's used in soybeans, it's used in a lot of different crops. But if you use that in your pulse crops, you most likely are going to see less root rot. Well, we see issues, Brian, like Pythium, for example. It's a water mold. So is a Phanomyces. If we can take care of that water issue, as you had mentioned already with the improvement in drainage, that's going to help us too. Just take away the opportunity for the infection to happen, and if you do that, you've protected your plants against root rot. Finally, don't forget, use a good seed treatment package that will help you an awful lot towards solving root rot issues in pulse crops. Well, seed treatments are nice, Brian, but they won't stop our Weed of the Week. We'll show you what will coming up later in the show. <laughs>